so I wanted to record a video on how I refresh my twist out midweek. So I have my hair just kind of pimped back. I did um, a flat twist out on Sunday and it's Thursday. So was it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Four days in my hair. It still feels good even though it looks a little crazy. It feels soft. Um, but it's just like no definition. Like I want to look cute on the weekend and I got like these frizzy pieces. Um, in the back, I feel like this middle section, I don't think it was completely dry <laughs> when I took it out um, on Monday. So I'm just gonna kind of refresh this twist out without having to go through the whole wash day process like the deep conditioning and the detangling and the humidifying and all of that, okay? So what I'm going to use is my water bottle. And in my water bottle, I have this and some deep conditioner. I always like to put just a little bit of something, something with my water. And I'm going to use my trusty main choice. Can't believe it's not butter, butter. And the last thing I'm gonna use is this uh, Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk. So I'm going to show you uh, what I do to refresh this twist out without having to go through that whole process so that on Friday or on tomorrow when I take these down after work, it's going to it's gonna look good. <laughs> so the first thing I do is I divide my hair into fours and I never really take down my twist out when I do it. So this is the part that I had. Um, I don't like a center center part, that's just not my thing. Uh, so this is the part and I believe there's a part here, yeah. And I just kind of feel I don't like to use uh, any combs if I'm not doing a full wash and detangle. So I'll just kind of feel for my parts. And I think this helps so much by like not taking down my twist out all the way because it'll always leave these sections like that's a perfect parting. Um, and it makes things go by a lot faster. The back I do threes so that I don't have like a big gap down the middle. So, I do one here, like this. You know, protective style is the best for your hair, especially during winter time. Um, but I like to show it off. I don't want to be in a twist out all the time. That's not me. That's not cute. That makes me feel like a lame natural. And I'm not a lame natural. I'm a fun natural. So all I do is I'll take each section and I just start from the bottom and I do like this pulling and I'll kind of just drag my fingers through and just catch any of the big knots. But as long as I can get like a good rough go through, we're good. And then I separate this section into two. Look at that part. Almost perfect. Ta-da! Maybe that's the key. Keep your parting. Keep your parting. So the way I keep it moisturized is every day I put on my scalp um, my mixture of growth oil. And this is the Curly Proverbs uh, growth oil that um, she recommends um, to keep your scalp healthy. And I have to say, um, I don't know if I have so much growth, but I don't have any dandruff. And that's good enough for me. So I use this on my scalp almost daily. And then before I go to sleep at night, I put my hair in a pineapple. And I'll kind of, at the ends, I'll kind of put some, I'll spray with a little water and put a little moisturizer on it and just put a cap on. Um, but after a while, it gets frizzy. So like I said, I have this little piece and still no comb, no nothing. I'm just gonna spray it a little bit, get the ends, cause you want the ends to curl. The top is gonna look okay. But you want the ends to be able to revert back and give you a tight curl. That makes things look kind of finished. So I just give that a couple squirrels so that it's nice and damp. And then I really like this hydrating. 
intensive hydration leave-in milk. So I just take a swipe. Get the section on nice. And for this to be um, dry by tomorrow, you can't put so much moisture. This is just a refresh. This ain't a whole wet set, you know, set for a few days. So when you're doing a reset real quick, you want it to be able to dry and go on about your day, go on about your life without having to be like afraid to take your twist down and have no definition and a bunch of frizz. So then I just take some butter in my hand and I kind of just pray your hands that on and I get the edges. Then I'll get my scalp with the oil and kind of rub that in. Move this in. Just a little triangle in the front. And then I split it like this. And I start off with maybe like one or two twists. And then just slowly bring that down. And I like for my twist to be really defined near my face. So when I do do my twist out, I don't like for my twist to be in the middle here. I'll always bring it right around my face so that um, it looks good. Like if the wind blows and I can kind of like push it back and it looks curly all over. But yeah. So I'm just going to twist this through, do my four in the front, and I'll do three in the back, and then I'll show you how I tie things down. Okay, so I'm finished. And this twist gave me so many problems, y'all. Listen, look, to do that, mm, I was struggling. But so this is what I usually do almost every time I wash my hair. I do the three twists and then one in the back. Um, and the way that I separate my hair is kind of like by thickness. So when I'm in the shower and I separate my hair into four, it's not like, okay, this is my center part and this is my side part. It's all just by feel. So when these two twist, if they feel the same thickness, that's how I divide it. If this piece felt thin or, you know, this piece is smaller than this one, it's because the hair is finer in the front for me. Um, but then this gives me even curls when I separate my hair by the way that it feels all of the twists look uniform and when I do take the twists out all of the curls look uniform to prevent uh, the ends from getting flat I just kind of pull them all up to the top and if you don't if your hair is not long enough to pull them all up to the top just pull them to the back but I pull them all up to the top and I'll clip it So this does just a little bit of stretching, but it also keeps these curls from getting smushed while I'm sleeping. And then I just put my bonnet on and I go to sleep. So when I do my hair like this, it takes me about, I would say like eight to 10 hours for it to dry. So I'll go to sleep, you know, I'll sleep for around eight hours and then I'm actually probably don't take them out at work. I'll take them out after work. So, you know, closer to 16. And I'll show you guys before I go out tomorrow. What is it looking like? <laughs> so hey y'all. So it's uh, actually lunchtime at my work. Uh, so I decided to take down my hair and show you guys how my uh, kind of like semi-dry twist out turned out. 
everything feels really moisturized and there are no wet spots so let's see so so far we got some definition looks good one more i really love these results uh like i said i've been doing kind of like the no detangle flat twist for a couple of weeks now just because i was getting a lot of shedding doing my denman and my whole detangling process in the shower so this you know it still gives me the same results without the amount of shedding that i was getting and i can have a twist out in a day <laughs> the other way you know when my hair is completely saturated it would take days to dry so this, I love it. All right, so I'm back at home and I just wanted to show you guys kind of a staple view of how my hair turned out. Um, like I said earlier, I definitely have the definition. I had a couple moist spots and you can see like all of this is dry, so it's defined. But then here where it was moist, it's a little frizzy, but I don't mind because it's at the bottom. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this is the other side. Again, this was my frizzy patch in comparison to, you know, the pieces that dried fully. I definitely think that a couple takeaways would be to use a minimal amount of water. Um, you don't want to oversaturate your hair because this is a quick refresh midweek. You don't want to have to uh, wait days for your hair to dry so that you can go out and look, you know, the way you want to, you know, with your bum flat out, twist out, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, minimal water. And like I said, what helps me is not breaking apart my sections. So once you get a good section regimen, like I said here, I can separate this and I can retwist this, no problem. Right, and then I just kind of fluff it up and the part is gone. It is kind of flat, but this is, you know, technically day one here and I'm not going to pick it out unless I go out. So I can usually make it pretty big and pretty voluminous, but that makes my hair mad up. I hope this guys helps you out. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're up to date on all my latest videos. I hope you like this. <laughs> I love to know what you use to do to kind of refresh your curls midweek. Put it in the comments below.